Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about a makeup company called Beauty Bakery. Beauty Bakery was founded by Cashmere Nicole in 2011. Around that time she was battling breast cancer and she beat it and she wanted to become self-conscious about what we put in and on our bodies. In 2016, she also founded Sugar Homes, which supports the needs of orphaned children all around the world. She also has a sugar home in Uganda, which supports 24 children, and another home in Tanzania. Not only is this brand an activist in makeup, but their visual representation and their packaging is what makes me want to try out their makeup today. Today, I'll be trying out their setting powder in the color Oat. And this is their packaging for the setting powder. It's very appealing as you can see and makes you want to try it out. It is in a flower bag which is really cute. So Oat is a translucent colored setting powder. Your setting powder is supposed to blur out your pores and it's supposed to give you a nice clean complexion. So for the regular size of the setting powder which is usually 50 ounces it retails for $24 but I got the bite size setting powder at Target for $12 in 0.25 ounces I already have my tinted moisturizer on along with my eyeliner my eyebrows and my blush so I'm going to be putting the setting powder on right now. So today I'll be trying out their bite size lip whip in the color nude chilla. So this retails for $12 and it is 0 0.08 fluid ounces. It applies on as a liquid but dries down as a matte finish and it also claims to last through your snacks. So we'll be trying this out and testing this out today to see how long it lasts. whip on it was a little difficult to apply it didn't go on smoothly for me um, I felt like there was lines and imperfections that were showing on my lips when I put it on so I kept putting on more and more layers we'll see how this goes throughout the day but first impression on the lip whip not really liking it so okay so this is my look for today so Join me as we test out the setting powder and the lip whip. Honestly, the lip whip already feels dry on my lips, so I am not liking it at all. Um, I also did get the lip scrub to try out. This will be the first time I'll be trying out a lip scrub, so we'll see how that does tonight. I've always been wanting to try it out, so let's go. The lip whip was already way too dry and I was already trying to snack on a cookie but I just couldn't deal so I had to take it off. It was also a struggle to take off. So it's about two hours in of me wearing the makeup. I just took out the Beauty Bakery liquid lipstick. It was too dry for me. I do not like it. Um, it felt like I couldn't even move my lips. So I'm surprised that it was that dry and I, it's just not for me. I would not wear it. So the setting powder looks like it's holding up well. I am getting oily in my T-zone area and on my cheeks, but it looks pretty good for now. Um, let's check it out. Uh, no oils, but it does seem like I'm getting oily. 
Um, I think I like it, but we'll see. It is the end of the day. I have been wearing this makeup since 6 o'clock this morning. It's 11.30 p.m. So I have been wearing this makeup for over 12 hours. And um, from the lip whip, as you can see, Sorry about that guys. So the battery for my lighting just died. So I'm going to be doing this off of the lighting in my kitchen. <laughs> um, okay, so taking it from what I just said. Uh, it's the end of the night. I am exhausted. And let's go and look at my makeup after over 12 hours of having it on. Okay, so the setting powder. I didn't like it compared to other setting powders that I use I don't think I would use this again it made my face oily well it didn't make my face oily but my face got oily after only four hours with setting powder and my foundation or my tinted moisturizer on it usually takes about more than six hours for my skin to get oily but with this setting powder, it was like only after four hours and my skin already looked oily in my T-zone area and on the top of my cheeks. So I had to like dab it throughout the day or like use a napkin and dab my face throughout the day so my face wouldn't look so oily. So as you can see, my face does look oily. So I wouldn't wear the setting powder again. And then the lip whip, like I said, I did not like it at all. It was too drying on my lips. And I felt like my lips were sticky. And it was just so, felt so tight. I would not wear that lip whip again. I mean, that was just for testing pur purposes. But yeah, I... I'm trying out the Pinch of Sugar Lip Scrub by Beauty Bakery in the flavor Strawberry. This lip scrub is supposed to be for hydration and for gentle exfoliation. So I'm supposed to be applying it in a circular motion to take out the dead skin cells on my lips. Smells good, just like strawberries. So final thoughts, beauty bakery products that I did try out, not so good. Like the lip whip was too drying for me. I felt like my lips were stuck together, like I couldn't even move them. There was no moisture at all. It did not hold up well. I did not like it. With the setting powder, uh, within four hours I was already oily. And like I said, my skin is already oily to begin with, so I need a setting powder that'll or make my skin look more flattering, more luminous instead of oily, and the Beauty Bakery setting powder didn't do that for me. The lip scrub was, uh, it was okay. I mean, I would use it again. It is the first lip scrub that I've ever tried, and it did take out my dead skin but the way that I usually take out my dead skin on my lips is by just like rubbing my lips together when they're wet anyways so the dead skin does come off and I guess the lip scrub helped in a way but like if I had to give the lip scrub a grade it would be like a 75% I mean I could live without it so I guess that tells you something right I mean and Beauty Bakery products, from what I've tried out, it didn't work out so well for me. I love their concept. I love the way that they do their packaging. And it's very appealing. It's very sweet. It's like 
very cute and it makes you want to try it out and made me want to try it out but other than that from what i've tried out i don't think i would try any other beauty bakery products so that's from what i've tested that's from my opinion so i suggest you try one of their products just see how they are for you maybe they suit you and that's it for today so i just wanted to thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for your support.